is football in the desert as a crowd of about 50,000 have descended on Arizona Stadium to see a clash between two of college football's premier conferences, the Pac-10 and the SEC. Tonight, it's number 13 LSU paying a visit to the Wildcats of Arizona. John McAvick in his third year here in Arizona on the other side. It is Lou Saban. He is an excellent football coach, or Nick Saban, I should say, 51 years old out of Fairmount, West Virginia. A couple of stints in the National Football League, and he is a good one. Arizona won the toss, deferred. They kicked off with the wind. It's out of the end zone. Let's take a look at the LSU offense, one of the most talented in the country. Led by quarterback Matt Mock, a junior out of Jasper, Indiana. Back Florida was his best game of the year. Joseph the diver running back. Straight ahead over the right side. Able to pick up four on the play. Going behind that big offensive line for the LSU offense. Running backs and wide receivers. We just saw him. Adai, the sophomore out of Houston. 81 yards last week in game one. And in the line, talk about consistency. How about 96 starts between them? They are the best in the SEC. Led by the new daddy, Stephen Peterman at right guard. He is the Lombardi Award candidate. Fakes, throws it out of the flat, incomplete, got great pressure put on the play as to the 3-4 for Mike Hankowitz. The line is young, not that big. Carl Tui Tavuki must step up in the middle from that nose tackle spot. Linebacker Joe Siofaley back at his natural position, which is in the middle. And in the secondary, Michael Jolivet back after the knee surgery. That is a very talented secondary. Anderson Green to the near side, Clayton to the far side. Snap, Mock pulls it down, fires over the middle, first down, up over the 35-yard line. It was on him. Gary Love didn't dress for the game. The normal starting quarter cornerback, we just got word, he suffered from a couple of sprained ankles. Devery Henderson gets inside Arizona territory, up end of 48. Tab them the best in the conference. Pretty hefty accolades for the young men. Keep it on the ground, straight up over the middle. A die powering his way. Over the 45, this is vintage SEC offense. Run, 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 then little pass. They keep it on the ground again. This time it's Chiron Perry. Already in Arizona territory. Around to Clayton. Crosses the 40, scrambles over the 35, down to the 33-yard line. This is where John McAvick wants his defense to improve. They go from the eye formation. Over the left side. Close. But there is a great change up back at 5-6 and very shifty. Well, another high snap. Keeps it on the ground. The left side. They're just battering that defensive front four on second down and five. Henry Henderson in the slot. One back. Mark keeps it on the ground. This time it's carry again, nearing the 20-yard line. Another third down. They're two for two so far on third down tonight. Come right at you again. A dive stacked up as he gets to the 21-yard line. That'll be close. And, and keep an eye out here for a little play action from LSU to give him those seven yards of crap on first down. Be a good time to throw it. And of course, I'm wrong. <laughs> That's why you're up with me. <laughs> Second down and seven. Perry, the only one in the backfield. Henderson running around. Mock looking in the flat pass thrown. And it is caught. It is by Michael Clayton down at the three-yard line. Tonight's goalpost, Cam, you're in good hands with Allstate. Straight ahead running. Do we get the signal from the official? The players are giving it to us. He's going to be just a tad short. Coming away with it, trying to field ball. Couple of tight ends. Eye formation for the Tigers. Up over the top. Touchdown, LSU. Joe Seal Faley tried to make the initial hit, but that surge by that offensive line was enough for the score. They say textbook. Oh, brother. Kicking into a very stiff wind. The extra point is good. Go Day with the extra one, and LSU, courtesy of this touchdown by O'Day, leads 7 0. Yeah, and that's good stuff. I mean, that, that quote there that Aaron gave us, I mean, Woody Hayes never let his team go into a game feeling like they were the underdog. And John McAvick obviously taking a page from his book. Uh, step toe on the receiving end. They focused on that. They're going to two quarterbacks tonight, Ryan O'Hara and Nick Costa. Costa gets the start. But, Charles, these two players have totally different styles. 5'11 out of Aloha, Oregon, as mentioned.
Mitchell, but he is a thick young man. They try to keep it on the ground, but Mike Bell, the talented sophomore running back and wide receivers, lots of play action tonight. Look for tight end Steve Fleming to be very much a part of this offense. One of the best in the Pac-10. The line, they came in rededicated this year to the run game. They're led by six foot eight right tackle Brandon Phillips. That put together. That's a big old guy who looks great. His first pass is tipped, knocked down. It's a couple of question marks. The line is their strength. Marquise Hill, he's rushing better than ever. He is a dandy. In the linebacker spot, coaches want Lionel Turner to be more vocal and to be more consistent. And in the secondary, Corey Webster, seven interceptions last year. That led the conference. And he wants him to be meaner and nastier, but they just have to play together a little bit more to develop that attitude. Third down and 12 for Costa. The Southpaw scrambling, throwing this one up for grabs, out of bounds, incomplete. Tyrone Carey is back to receive it on his own 35-yard line, kicking with the win. Good return ball. Line drive from the 36. Carey right up the middle. Got some running room. Finally knocked out by Bogger at the 29-yard line. We lose to them. That helps derail us from our boys. Great field position from Arizona's 29-yard line. Mock seeing some pressure. Scrambling, still on his feet. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and even picks up a couple of yards. His line was, I'm not going to sneak up on anybody because you're going to hear me creaking. <laughs> Pick up of one, second and nine. Throwing it out into the flat to Henderson. Gets close to the 20-yard line, down to the 21. Third and short. LSU can run it or pass it, and then the shotgun to out of the shotgun formation. Anderson in motion with perfect on third down so far. Mock, they're trying to wrap them up, and they finally do back at the 30-yard line. Actually, a very good stand by Arizona considering the field position. Ryan Godet, 37-yarder, and he splits the upright, 47 yards. And LSU makes good use of the excellent field position. They're up 10-0. We're still in the first. You still have to wonder why LSU just didn't with that big offensive line just try to bang it in on the running game. Yeah, third and short. I was surprised they went to the air on that one. Jackson kicks it five yards deep. Sends it step toe. Opening series for Arizona, minus two yards. Lance Welford on the near side. Costa five-step drop. Fires into the flat, passes incomplete. Five plays now for the Arizona offense, minus two total yards. Mike Bell looking for any kind of running room, but he's going to lose a couple. Jack Hunt again on Ellis, third down and 10. Last year, Arizona just 38% on third down. Last week, they were 8 of 16, but they're facing a very fast LSU defense. Here comes the blitz. Costa trying to get away from it. He loses the football. Still loose. Let's see what the officials say. LSU's got it. LSU's in business. And they have great field position. Ball is on the nine-yard line. Straight ahead running. This time the Arizona defense holds him to about a three-yard gain. Pick up with one on the play. Second and eight. Mark on the option. Pitches it back. A die. Touchdown, LSU. Possibly seven points here, and he gave it up deep into his own deep in his own territory. And John Makovic obviously not pleased with his offense so far. They find themselves down 17-0. Defense pitching in pretty well for them oh, also. Yeah. Stuffed them on the first drive, forced the turnover deep for the second one. Jackson showing his leg, kicking into a stiff win. Again, it's five yards deep. And again, so right now, minus 10 yards total offense. Costa hangs on the left side. Clarence Farmer picks up a couple. Didn't want to give up a big play because they didn't have the proper personnel on the field. Costa straight drop, has some time, throws high, incomplete. Just not connecting with. And Will Muschamp is really executing it well tonight with those defensive players. Costa has to step up. Here is where he is dangerous. Runs a 10-400, gets up to the 25 to the 28-yard line. Tyrone Carey standing on his 32, Bogger to kick it away again. Not a good kick. Turns over at the 38-yard line. This time, Carey's going to be wrapped up, maybe picked up about a half a yard. LSU, another good field position for him from their own 43-yard line. 
This time a die tries the right side. He's moving on me. <laughs> I got to keep up with him. This time Mock is going to be dropped. A loss of seven on the play. Mock will put it up again, looking for the screen off to the side. Arizona's right there. Joe and die wrapped up quickly on the play. Three wide receivers to the left for the Tigers. Arizona has been getting good pressure on Matt Mock when he's taking a five-step drop. Looking deep in the flat, has a man at the 38-yard line. It is Michael Clayton. By the way, this is an offensive line that last year only allowed 16 sacks. That was a lead low. Keeping it on the ground with Terry. Over the 30, down to the 27-yard line. Nunez. All those guys were projected into their 2D, probably to be starters. He doesn't have them. Anderson in motion, but they keep it on the ground with Terry. Picking up good yardage, another first down. End of the quarter, Nick Saban's troops up 17-0 as we head to quarter number two. Still plenty of time left in this game. First and 10, balls on the Arizona 21-yard line. Back to carry. Cuts inside down to the 10 yard line. We watched everything, guys. He even cut the court. And we hear that uh, Stephen Jr. is going to be a pretty big boy. Already holding his head up, guys. Hey, it's just, uh, by the way, a big blow for Arizona defense. Copeland Bryan is out of the game with a concussion. That is uh, not what Mike Hankless wants to see. Mock will run the action. Nice ball fake. Inside touchdown, LSU. <laughs> Touchdown run for quarterback Matt Mock. Why not a third time? Matt Mock kept it that time because the end went to the running back, turned it inside for the touchdown. Well, this is the LSU story. They brought over 6,000 fans, and they're enjoying every minute of this one. Just on Wednesday, people love their Tigers. Well, Arizona's got to do something. From the eight-yard line, Steptoe, first return, got some room! Slowed down as he crossed the 35 up to the 38-yard line. Mike Bell, the only one in the backfield for Arizona. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. I mean, look, look at the time of possession, 13.02 to 3.13. Telling the big story right now because of LSU's ground game. Relford in motion on first and 15. Costa looking, throwing. Fires it, it was there, and it was dropped. No fun to cost on that play. Bro. No, and when things aren't going well, everyone has to step up and make plays when the opportunity presents themselves. Byron Neely needed to catch that last pass. Bell showing some speed. Gets over the 50 down to about the 49-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. But because they couldn't run it, teams could load up and get after the quarterback. They sacked Arizona quarterbacks 52 times last year. Costa on a three-step drop, throws it on in the flat pass intended for Byron Ely on Arizona, but he's dug himself in a big hole right now. Costa keeps it, tripped up. I think he just tripped over an LSU leg. Third down now for Nick Costa, the sophomore out of Aloha, Oregon. 0 for 3 tonight. He's yet to complete a pass. Keep it on the ground, Bell shaking and bacon. Gets down to about the 48-yard line. He hopes we'll give him a better effort. Terry standing on the 10. Molina, a high kick, but it's going to be short, and it'll head out of bounds. Do you just continue to hand it off to the backs, or do you try and make a big play over in the top? You go with what got you there so far. Mock throws it out of the flat to Clayton. He's hit immediately, but not before he gets to the 29-yard line. Second down is short. Arizona showing blitz, they do, but a die gets the first down. You know, we talked about the rhythm. John Makovic isn't in. I think Jimbo Fisher is in that rhythm. Mock, straight drop, has a man into the flat at the 35 yard line. Pass is complete. Justin Vincent, the red shirt freshman, crosses the 40 up. Another first down for the Tigers. Gives it off carry, left side, gets in Arizona territory again. But they are rallying around the football. They're just not getting guys down on the initial contact. Second down and four. Mock throws it into the flat, complete. Clayton's got some running room. Say goodbye to Michael Clayton. Clayton for the touch. 
touchdown. Get into longer gains. The extra point is good. Last week, Clayton, 152 yards receiving. 105 of those yards came after the first contact from the defender. Does it again tonight. We've seen him on offense and defense, as well as special teams. Sleetwood step toe. And let this one go out of bounds. The flag is thrown. Same to each individual. This time he just said, gosh, we've got to get it together. New quarterback Ryan O'Hare is into the ball game as a penalty flag is thrown. Mike Bell over the left side. O'Hare lined up too too far into the neutral zone. Also a different style of quarterback. It shouldn't be too difficult because these guys have split snaps throughout training camp and they knew this guy was going to come in and play. I think that John McAvick wanted Nick Costa to come out of the game after some positive plays. That's why he stayed in for three series. O'Hare's first pass is complete to the Big Ten. Big tight end Steve Fleming, and he bowls his way. Yeah, he first got here. Yeah, he first got here. <laughs> O'Hara back again, sees some pressure hit as he releases the ball, and he is level. Overall strength, and that allows him to get open a lot. This time they pitch it back to Bell, looking for some running room. Jitterbugs his way down to about the 35-yard line. Third down, we'll call it about four for the Wildcats. Wilbur Harris in the backfield. Aaron with the pressure overflows his intended receiver. He will come with pressure on this series, on this play. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, still fourth down. I don't care, standing on his own 11. That's headed toward the end zone. I vote for the dog. <laughs> no offense. LSU taking over first and ten from their own 20-yard line. Joseph Adai on the carry. Come into the game to get some experience with LSU up 31 points. Now here is a guy that doesn't, that obviously has control of the offense. A little erratic last year, but he's got a great deal of ability. Throws it in the flat. Clayton again with another catch. And had a really good, strong spring practice. But there's only one game that fetched in everybody's memory when it comes to Marcus. The Kentucky game. Throws it out in the flat. Pass is complete. David Jones, the sophomore, on the reception. Like they had no chance whatsoever. Blitz by Arizona. Die in the backfield. Randall throws it away, and he was hit immediately. It's a painful, guys. <laughs> I, I like the gym shorts underneath the suit myself. <laughs> He's got a higher threshold of pain than we do, Aaron. Yeah. They're going to give him the opportunity to run the full offense before the end of the half to show how much he's improved his skills. A great idea by Coach Saban. Wide open, and they're going to add seven more on the board. Devery Henderson from Marcus Randall. Now, just last week, as we take a look from the All-State goalpost camp, Devery Henderson just running down the field, just in the middle of the field. No one really in, this, in the area to cover it. It's an easy throw for Marcus Randall and an easy touchdown for LSU. The extra point is good. 5-20 left to play. We're still in the first half. Kicking it with the win. Step toe will take a knee. Just mashing them downfield. First down and 10 from their own 20. O'Hara is going to be dropped back at the 13-yard line. Well, with, with the score 38 nothing allows LSU to just pin their ears back and go. They're not as concerned about a running play because they figure they'll just run to it, and that they did. On Marcus Spears. Now third down and 15. Inside of four minutes left in the first half. O'Hara from the shotgun. Pockets collapsing. Flushing the wrong way, Ron. He better hustle. He's got some space now. He could have run it. Throws it instead. Should have been intercepted. Bobbled by Cameron Vaughn. It was taking what he could have gotten out of the play and then punted it away. I think Coach McAvick would have been much happier. Now Molina finally got his foot in the run. Back to the 28-yard line. Perry looking for some running room. Good open field tackle gets up to the 40. His bodies fly everywhere. Especially nowadays when kids are coming out earlier, you better get what you can out of them before they go to the NFL and leave you some eligibility on the table. Here comes the blitz. Randall pump fakes going deep again. Has a man playing center field, Arizona. And it is intercepted down at the 18-yard line. Darryl 
Brooks, the sophomore. Error remains at quarterback. And when you have a 38 to nothing lead, you can afford to be a little bit greedy and take your shot downfield and hope that Clayton can make a big play. On the ground. Here's Farmer to right side. LSU is eight on the line. Arizona keeps it on the ground. Farmer running room to the outside, breaks the tackle. To the 50, still on his feet, down to the 48-yard line. And the guy everyone thought would be the starter. Comes LSU on the blitz again. O'Hara pump fakes, has a man down the line and overthrows him. Intended for Lance Relford, he was there. Relford had a step, second down and 10 from the 47. O'Hara again, this time he puts a little air under the ball. Too much, it's going to be picked. Travis Daniels just waited for that bird to come down, and the junior out of Hollywood, Florida, has his first interception. LSU takes over with 225 left in the half from their own 15-yard line. And still the quarterback. They keep it on the ground. A die again. 311 yards for LSU, only 68 total yards in the first half for Arizona. That is the story. Keep it on the ground. A die this time is going to be wrapped up for no gain. I didn't know Johnny had a standard. <laughs> Randall hit as he makes the pitch. Running room. The die stepping over some blocks. Skips his way over to the 32-yard line. This just doubled this, Coach. <laughs> that was a bit of a problem. We got we got hammered that day. It's, it's really tough to come back and play. But the key to it all is that he'll have to handle this one delicately. But at the same time, let him know what's expected from him. Second down and one losing the yard. It has been all LSU. 38 to nothing over 300 yards total offense. Holding Arizona and John Makovic's offense to under 70. That concludes first half of college football on TBS. A part of big PlayStation Saturday. Now let's go to Ernie Johnson and Brian Bosworth back in our studios. Now we're ready for the second half kickoff. LSU will be kicking it off to Arizona. Another driving kick, and this time, Arizona step toe going to take it out. Loses the football. Arizona gets it. Let's see where they spot it. It'll probably be at the one-yard line. My goodness. Well, now, Arizona, this is not the way they wanted to begin the second half when you're down by a bundle of points. Keeping it on the ground, trying the left side, not much doing. Maybe picked up a yard or two on the play. Now they're facing second down and eight. Ball's on the three-yard line. Costa back in at quarterback. Penalty flag is thrown. Bell using that little shake move with the shoulders. Gets close to our Home Depot first and ten line. Well, that hurts. And he said, you play to your own capabilities. That should be good enough. And if it's not, we'll just keep working to improve. That's what he's got to find and another penalty. They're pressing. Prior to the snap, full start, offense, half the distance. And they're right in front of some of the LSU faithful in the corner of the end zone. Costa from the shotgun. Has some pressure deep out. Pass is caught up to the eight-yard line. Byron Ely. The ball been thrown downfield a little bit farther. And the Costa did have some zing on it. Third down and about three. Keeping it on the ground. Tripping up before getting to the ten-yard line. To get him. Now Molina standing about eight yards deep in the end zone. Another not so hot kick. The line drive at the 47 yard line, slipping and falling. They are developing the nasty attitude that Nick Saban has been been asking from them. They've been asking uh, since the spring on that. He said he didn't get it then, but he's starting to see it more now. LSU's Matt Mock back in at quarterback. All night long, LSU's been moving it in the direction they wanted. 75 yards already for a die this evening. Second down and short. They'll try the right side. Good enough for the first down. A die maybe goes about a yard. And one of the smartest people in football is Rodney Reed. Already graduated. Matt Mock throws it into the flat. Pass is complete. Justin Vincent, another first down as he bowls his way inside the 15. First down and 10. LSU knocking on the door again, just working on their game plan. Matt Mock to Jeffrey Henderson inside the five, down to about the two yard line. Now they're about to punch it in again for another six. Carry inside, touchdown LSU again. Another impressive drive by the LSU offense. John McAvick is in the second game of the season. 
He wants to see a full effort from his team, and he's getting it tonight. Chris Jackson with the extra point. The Tigers are going to move up in the rankings. They lead it 45 nothing. LSU has just manhandled the Arizona Wildcats. We're up 45 nothing. Still 10 41 left to play here in quarter number three. Stepto takes the seat. Mike Bellotti's going to fight with That's him right now. He said all the recruits love him when they see him on the two. Lawrence Farmer in the backfield now. Cost to play action, throws it out of the flat. This Sean Jones, the fullback. Crosses the 25. If you come in out of shape, you might not hit the field in the fall. Quick snap, Costa keeps it on the ground. LSU is right there. Five yellow and white jerseys. The national exactly championship right. team, their defensive unit. Now they're facing third and five. LSU brings seven. Costa on the run, throws it on the flat. Let's see, it could be intentional ground. It could also be face mask. Barely outside the tackle. Well, it is face mask. So Westlow had the better look and won the 100-meter dash in high school for the state of Oregon. So they say it went to 4 4 40. On second and 12, Costa has some time. Throws it out of the flat, forced that one incomplete. You gotta figure it's going to be a pass with a good rush. Third and 12, LSU brings the blitz. Costa throws this one up for grabs. And he wasn't in sync with his wide receiver. The game has been good for LSU tonight. This time, Molina, this is one of his better kicks. Carry back at the 15 yard line. Lost the wheel. <laughs> That's something that LSU has crossed a number of times this evening. They have the football, first and 10 from their own 19 yard line. They're keeping it on the ground. It's fine. And again, everyone here thinking about him. We're all rooting for him. This guy means a lot to this team, guys. Absolutely is the pass. They're going to call it complete up to the 31 yard line. 1,300 miles away in LSU's case. Skylar Green now to the outside along with. Benny Brazil going to keep it on the ground. Arizona's defense there to stop Justin Vincent. Uh, it, it, Norm's got a lot to work with. Matt yeah. Miner, you know, everybody was worried about him becoming the starting quarterback this year. Great play by Howard. Randall is hit, still gets the pass away, almost completed for seven of eight on third down tonight. On the other side of the football, Arizona 0 for 8. Randall, plenty of time. This time, though, he's hit. All of a sudden, the pocket collapse of big 92, Carlos Williams. Wrong spot. Uh, I think this is just one of those things that kind of came together. It looked like Marcus Randall kind of dipped his head a little bit, too. Trying to enforce rules for safety. And that's a tough call. Ran over Coach Saban one day. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's not smart when you're a freshman. I'm sorry, this time tries to keep his feet crosses the 50. Yeah. Uh, Welcome back is Barrington Edwards, another young freshman out of Bowie, Maryland on the carry. Try on the right side. Is the schedule sets up very nicely for them. And you're right, you need to get people some experience in case they have to play due to injury. Randall throws it out of the flat, passes complete. Nick Saban preaches tough football, and these guys live it. First and 10 from the 21. Keeping it on the ground. It is now 45 nothing. We still have 56 here in the third. Pretty solid defensive play. I think we're seeing some of that tonight. He's becoming a lot more comfortable in their defensive scheme. Now Randall will go from the shotgun on third and eight. See some pressure. Going to be dragged down from behind at the 32 yard line. Oh my! Another personal foul. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. Late hit. 15 yard penalty in the previous block, automatic first down. So when they make a great play, as they just did, look like Andre Torrey. Well, that was a you know, good call. And it, I, I think you are, but I think you're also going to, it's going to be, you know, that, that, velvet, that velvet hammer you've got to use. You can, there's a fumble. And Arizona's got it up to the 23 yard line. Zionte Sherman coming up with the loose ball. He still, you see the turnover situation, which is sort of a moot point, but LSU didn't capitalize on it. Arizona came up. Costa going back. This is where he's dangerous. This man can scoot, but he's dragged down from behind. Picked up maybe a yard. Take the gap and go. Second and eight. 
Again, the LSU defense just swarming all over the place. See, that's why they don't throw, that's why you shouldn't throw the water on the coach. They threw it on him too soon. Yes. Part of the snap. False start. Offense. Oh. Five yard penalty. Still third down. LSU has refused to dive into that type of play and they're keeping their discipline. Here comes the blitz. Costa throws it out of the flat caught up to the 22-yard line by Lance Relford. You can't take what they give you. That's right. You have to take what you need. <laughs> Arizona exactly didn't right. do that on that play. I want to thank Allstate for providing tonight's goalpost camp. You're in good hands with Allstate. Now the punt wasn't all that good, and we are at 45 to nothing with 38 seconds left here in quarter number three. on the run. Barrington Edwards trying to get a couple. You're going to play on this field. I don't care if you're a true freshman. If I'm putting you out there, you take care of the football. Because that's something you learn at a very young age. <laughs> Randall throwing a deep out. Pass is caught. Past the 45 down to the 43-yard line. Well, that's the end of three quarters. There's only 15 minutes left for LSU to go 2-0 for the seventh time in the last eight years. They lead by a bundle. 5 nothing, the number 13 team in the country. I'm with Charles Davis, Craig Sager, Aaron Andrews. I'm Ron Fuller. Thank you for staying with us. Randall on first and 10 from the 44. That is a catch to Skylar Green. The I formation for LSU. With the youngsters. Through the hole, over the 30, down to the 28-yard line. It's Justin Vincent. That cramps LSU style, doesn't it? That's right. We're used to starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. So... First and goal for the, from the seven for LSU. Vincent and Edwards in the I formation. First man through, Justin Vincent. He is going to be stacked up. Yeah. You, you know, they might want to up to 2003 to make the big run at it. Look at it again. Randall looking in the flat, overthrows the intended receiver, Justin Vincent. Because they can make more money at home and more, you know, they can invite other teams in that they can take care of the Tiger Stadium. Randall going back, sees a big hole, has got some running room, looking for pay dirt, stretches, doesn't get it. Gets down to the one, Daryl Brooks laid the wood to him. I know one of their losses on TBS. <laughs> Tennessee, fourth down and goal, LSU going for it. Kick it back, Edwards looking, looking, we have a penalty flag thrown as Edwards has run out of bounds at the three yard line. And penalized eight times for 60 yards, and it is against Arizona. That will try this fourth down and one again. Again, it's Edwards and Vincent in the eye formation. Over the top, no signal. There it is, another touchdown LSU. Justin Vincent. The only way to get them more playing time is to put them both on the field at the same time. Chris Jackson's extra point is good. He remains perfect. And with 12.49 left to play in the ball game, LSU adds another seven onto the scoreboard. It's something that will help them the rest of the year. Now with the amount of practice time, Craig, at 20 hours a week, this is just an elongated practice now for him. You know, you get some repetition. Uh, John McAvick is serious about trying to trying to see if this unit can establish some rhythm before the night is over. Well, Harris passes complete. No. I just think of my brother, and I, I think that he would do anything to trade places with me. Well, Dustin, we wish you the best, my friend. You're... Oh, my. Usually means that a wide receiver did not line up in the correct spot for formation, didn't get up on the line of scrimmage. And Harris throws this one up for grabs, passes incomplete. Not get open against LSU defensive backs. Good call. You know, they just cannot get open and present themselves as a good target for their quarterbacks. Ball hit him. That's, that should be Arizona's football, and it is. Well, Jay Bullwear's squad and the specialty team is going to get a little. The ball goes back to Arizona. Coach has always liked something to harp on on Monday. Now they got hey, he's got He's got something to work with now. He's got a legitimate <laughs> one now. Well, Arizona's going to keep it on the ground. Gilbert Harris. Oh. We, we'd be in the icy light bowl in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harris going deep again. He's got some air out of the ball. Passes incomplete. And I know Arizona has spent plenty of time working on protections. John McAvick told us it might be able. They spent, you know, five hours more than normal in their preseason practice. Tipped away at the last second. Ronnie Prude, an excellent defensive play. Now they're going to try a 50-yard field goal right now. 
Bobby Gill's got a pretty good strong leg. Let's see what they do. From 50 yards out, it's a fake. I don't think it's a planned one, though. Molina throwing it up in the air, and it is going to be brought down by Ronnie Krug. Even the second team has done it tonight. Marcus Randall back in at quarterback. Ali Broussard, not much running room, loses the football again. Arizona score, yes! Oh, my! Deontay Sherman recovered the loose ball. Broussard's second fumble of the night. Down here. Yeah, Did the ground right. caused this fumble? I would say yes. Yeah. I would say that the ground caused the fumble, but Arizona's going to be the beneficiary because he doesn't want to see any sloppy play as John McAfee is on the other. And Bobby Gill with the extra point. I think he's going to get a couple of game balls. One has to go to Daryl Brooks, the free safety who's played the complete 60 minutes. Skyler Green from the one. He's going to be stacked up at the 15 yard line. Stills and Barrington Edwards now in the backfield for LSU. Edwards bounces off the right side. Arizona's there to wrap him up. It's like I was listening to Barry Switzer. And you know, he had that accent going and everything. As a former player, your head coach has a heck of an influence on you for your whole life. Well, Dwayne Bow, the freshman out of Miami, Florida, comes up with the reception. A little bit different tonight here from Matt Mock, and that's the exact situation LSU is on. Justin Vincent, penalty flag is thrown. He crosses the 35 up to the 38, recruited him. Holding uh, offense, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, replay, first down. Yeah, who, who, who was the nutcase who asked him about where was Hickory? Yeah, oh, right. that was me. Oh, that was you. Yeah, right. And he knew. <laughs> Keeping it on the ground, Justin Vinson over the left side. He would have been a safety for us. I wonder if Matt knew that. Because <laughs> that was a surprise statement to, to hear that from, from Coach Saban. Randall throws it out into the flat to Dwayne Bow. I love uh, Matt though, saying that it hit him when he was playing minor league baseball. He's actually was in this and said, I didn't want to be a 27-year-old without a degree. Randall throws it up for grabs. Tip drill. Intercepted. No drop. Good snap. Left-footed kicker drives this one. He was loose. Back to the 13-yard line. Oh, great tackle by Corey Webster. He had three separate teams within one on that one. Yeah, the, the white team. The white team. Go. Not around for the national championship mm -hmm. year. A lot more patience. <laughs> at some places, Back seven at four, you're not going to Exactly. Ryan O'Hare rifles the pass off the fingertips at the 28-yard line of Ryan Eitzen. That's all the time, too. They don't just, you know, High play a bunch of patsies. Huh? Yeah. I mean, they went to Hawaii. <laughs> well, O'Hare has got some time. This time he dumps it off to Sean Jones. The big fullback throws up a stiff arm, gets close to the 30-yard line. Face mask, offense, 15-yard penalty from, from the spot of the foul, replay, third down. You, you've got to let go. Well, six and a half to play, 52-7. Arizona with the football. Nice little spin move by Clarence Farmer. As you had last year with Dominic Davis and LeBrandon Tofield. Now Molina with the kick at the 38-yard line. Skyler Green, look out. One man to beat and take it home, Skyler. <laughs> Return for Skylar Green. Which with the new rules now, they can do after the kick, I believe. Mm -hmm. at least, at least, That's weak. At least he That's true. You know, he didn't jump up. He just kind of no. put his hand up. That's kind of weak there. Well, 59 to nothing. Or 59 to seven is our score. Five minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this football game. Oklahoma, right. Oklahoma winning. Yeah. Florida, get my, get my little girl soccer game going. Uh, they didn't play too well today. I'm a little upset about that. And it was kind of a maybe an Arizona type performance. And they were yeah. living on last week's championship. Closing in on five and a half to play, but Arizona has their best field position. Boy, there's everybody dancing around. Offside, defense, neutral zone violation. Defender jumped into the neutral zone and caused the center to react. This team gets a penalty against them. Got to defend the fellas. Everybody was jumping around on that one, though. Yeah, it just wasn't a pretty look from anyone. 
Arizona's going to keep it on the ground. Mike Bell back in throughout the ball game for the LSU Tigers. They're playing 60 minutes. Here's Bell. Tries to get around that side of the field, and he takes one upside the head. Knocked back about. Uh, you know, I, I just compliment the offensive line. I think they did a great job tonight keeping guys off me, and our know, receivers were in great routes, and I think uh, Coach Fisher, the offensive coordinator, had called a great game. The way you guys are playing now, what are the goals that you set for this season? I think the one thing we did as a team is we made sure that all of our goals aren't uh, like a championship or anything. And you can never overlook a Nick team nickname, the Leathernecks. There you go. Clarence Farmer, stiff arm, left side. Farmer getting some serious playing time. And wiggle and then got into the gap and win. First down and 10 from the 11 for Arizona. Trying to get an offensive touchdown. Farmer, stiff arm, looks for the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. That is a big time run, my friends. And he's going to get flagged for his excessive celebration. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. Touchdown is good. At this point, it's just a good practice. And that's going to be wide to the right. And that's the problem Bobby Gill has had last week and during practice this week. Name for himself, future PGA star. Speaking of golfers, David Toms, a we PGA can, champion, is an LSU grad. We can go to the list. Skyler Green still on his feet, trying to get the ball. I think it's loose. Yep, LSU got it back. You know, at the start of the game, we saw a little lightning. We were getting a little worried. Think LSU brought it with them. That's uh, 15 to play. Jason Edwards, the low setback. He is upended before he gets to the line of scrimmage. They look for little bright spots at this point, I think. Definitely. Inside of two and a half. LSU still with the football. Barrington Edwards getting the majority of the backup. Gets a hold of another one. From the 21, it is fair caught. Turn for Arizona, five nicknames. better nicknames. Good nicknames. Well, it's another boomer. Nice spiraling kick. Fumble. Recovered back at the 23. After tonight, I wonder if Boss is going to want to come back. <laughs> 117 to play. You better come back. O'Hara has a man wide open. Incomplete. It would be nice now to get him the ball again. Give him another opportunity. Another Instead, they're going to keep it on the ground with Bell. There's that little shake move this time. He makes his way over to the 34-yard line. He's probably sitting at home watching this right now. Look forward to seeing you, Mike. Bell over the left side. Looks up to the 40-yard line, and he is ushered out of bounds. This might be it. Ryan O'Hara looking, looking, floating it up in the air, and the pass is incomplete at the 28-yard line intended for Mike Bell. Well, Chris Henry didn't dress tonight, a true freshman tailback because of ankle problems. And they run a little screen. Penalty flag is thrown. Incidental face now oh, okay. on the defense. Five-yard penalty. After enforcement of the penalty, it'll be a first down. And all they see is the head twist. Exactly, the naked eye. So that's that's a tough call. Now this is the last play of the game, maybe. Throw a little swing pass out. Nope, we'll have one more. There's one second left. So that wraps it up. LSU took the lead early on, never gave it up. 59-13, Charles quickly can Arizona regroup. They can if the coaches handle this the correct way. And you know something? I think they will at Arizona. It's a great coaching staff. And they'll take care of these young men. And I think they'll bounce back and play a much better game next Saturday. But the final score again, LSU wins at 59-13. And, of course, our next telecast will be next Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern on TBS. The Arizona Wildcats will host the Oregon Ducks.